A source in the Nigerian police force has revealed that the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, paid over 2 billion naira to get a one-year extension in office. Adamu is, however, said to be unhappy that he only got a three-month extension and therefore refused to celebrate his tenure extension. According to the source, the Inspector General of Police visited traditional rulers and persons of influence across Nigeria and also spent on influencers in the presidential villa to get a one-year extension, but the efforts did not materialize. The source said when the extension of office for the Inspector General of Police was declared, Adamu locked his door which prevented senior officers from congratulating him. The source said, after spending over 2 billion naira to get one year extension tenure, he is very upset and has refused to celebrate his tenure extension. He had brought in Marabout, a Muslim holy man or hermit from Maiduguri, well guarded by Mupul, but their predictions didn't work. He reportedly visited traditional rulers and persons of influence across Nigeria and spent on villa influencers to only to get three months and he is very, very sad about it. When the announcement was made, he locked his door. He did not allow senior officers to congratulate him. The source said, the Beta Inspector General of Police is now on a revenge mission to make those who campaigned against his tenure extension in the office to pay for it. Now, he has embarked on a vendetta mission against those suspected to have campaigned against him in the upper echelon of the police, the source said. The source told Sahara reporters that officers were not happy with the development alleging that the Inspector General of Police also promoted those who were not qualified. The source said, an example was the recent appointment of the aide-de-camp to the Nasarawa State Government, sorry, Governor, and the rapid promotion of a policewoman, Nonye Wele, whom the Inspector General of Police claimed was his doctor to the status of Assistant Commissioner of Police while her cosmates are still superintendents of police. Hassan Adamu, who is the ADC to Abdullahi Sule, the Nasarawa State Governor, is the Inspector General's son. The tenor extension of the Inspector General of Police by three months was announced on Thursday by the Minister of Police Affairs Mohamed Dingyadi at the presidential villa Abuja. Dingyadi had claimed that the extension was necessary to give room for the proper selection of a successor. Adamu was due to retire when the police, from the police last Monday, having spent a maximum of 35 years in service. Many, many legal practitioners had described the three-month extension as illegal and unconstitutional. All right, guys, you have heard what has been exposed. This is what has been alleged that the Inspector General of Police, uh, Mohamed Adamu, had uh, you know, done to uh, gain extension of his tenure in office by a year but it is sad and unfortunate that it did not uh work out the way he intended or uh planned or wanted it to happen he got only three months well it is sad and unfortunate you can see the amount of money that was said to that he was said to have spent two billion naira you know that amount of money is enough to develop a particular community and uh you know, either carry out road construction and maintain it for a number of years. 
But it is what it is. These are people that are in charge, you see. That is what happens in government. Lobbying here and there all to get positions. You can have, you can imagine how much he's going to make within these three months. He definitely would have set his targets, how he wants to make the money back and much more with interest. So it shows that the level of corruption, the level of impunity that is in government is magnanimous. Is so much that is beginning to kill the, uh, the the developments, the projects that is meant for the people. Because as many as people who find their way into government official, into government positions, they go there with special interest of amassing wealth for themselves and uh, making a name for themselves. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Where did the Inspector General of Police got two billion naira? How much is a salary at the end of the day? His salary is about is a little bit is a little above a million naira per month. So how did he come about two billion naira that he is expending on lobbying for extension of tenure of office? It shows that a lot of things are not right. You know, these are some of the things that are exposed. If you confront him, he will definitely deny it. So, but be that as it were, it shows that there are a lot of things that are being carried out and are little... Well, let me just say, let me put it this way. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. The bribes that police officers collect on the roads, to a very large extent, one can be made to believe that a huge amount of those money put together gets to the table of the Inspector General of Police. So you can see how the chain goes, the chain of bribery goes from the head to the toe, from the toe back to the head, just like the flow of blood in the system of a, of a human being. So guys, you can see that it's, you, you rub my back, I rub your back. That is what happens. At that level in government who would have imagined that this man you know coughed out or paid this sum of this huge sum of amounts to get tenor elongation if this is happening with the police then please what had happened with the uh, service chiefs who had spent more than a year or two years in office despite their uh, retirement time or their tenor you know coming to an end much earlier it shows that there are lots of issues that this country must tackle if we want to achieve and attain greatness. Well, guys, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? Well, drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.